G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, if you've got a workshop, where you do a bit of tinkering, model making, you're going to have something like this, some of these, or one of these. These are all calipers. These are uh, digital, uh, dial, dial, digital, and then we've got a couple of verniers. Now, that's a cheapy. That's a cheapy Chinese one. They're both Chinese. Michu Toyo uh, eye gauging. I really like that one. It's a beauty. Now, the the thing with these calipers is they can all measure three things. They can measure outside diameter or outside measurement. They can measure inside. And they can also measure depth. That's what this probe is. So they can measure depth with that. But to do that, you have to hook your the gadget, the end of the scale, onto one of your measuring and drop it in inside. So it could be a pulley, or it could be a, a hole you've drilled, sort of piece of metal, or a, it could be lots of things. And that's not always convenient because quite you know quite often. It might have a lip on it, a step on it, so you've got to get your your depth gauge somehow to measure in the middle of something, and there's no way the base can contact the end of the scale. So, yeah, it's good. It works. It's okay in some situations, but not all. And the danger is too that you can tilt the the scale and uh, getting it, getting incorrect reading. So, what, what do you do? Well, quite a while back I made up a a copy of a Michu Toyo. One of these. And these basically are designed to just go on the bottom of your scale and theoretically, theoretically they should fit any of these because these are all 16 mil wide, or very close to it, and in actual fact it does, it fits all of these. Uh, now, I made this myself because to buy one of these, and this is a copy of a Mitchell Toyo, these are like $90 to buy, you know, $80 to $100 depending on where you get them. And if you've got a mill, or you can do milling on the lathe, like I did this on the lathe, you can make one of these, even home cast aluminium. Anyway, there's a video on, on this quite a way back. I use it occasionally. It's not something you use every day, but when you want it, when you need it, yeah, you've got to have one. They're indispensable for certain jobs. So, I mean, you've probably all got in that situation where you found it very difficult to get that, that bottom reference area aligned on the job for whatever reason. So extending it out with this makes things a lot easier. These get as wide as you want. Now, okay, that's 16 mil center. These are 16 mil shaft. They fit all those, but they will not fit these uh, vernier calipers I've got because these are actually a 17.5 a uh, mil width on the scale, well, the scale housing. The, this is an NSK, this is a Michu Toyo, um, so obviously there's a difference in, and it could be something to do with the size of them, I'm not an expert on these, they're a bit bigger but not a lot, I think it's just how they made them, um, or still make them, so yeah, this won't fit that. So anyway, I was looking on um, Banggood, you know, there's something to review, something, and as usual, I always try and pick out something that's good value, affordable, and useful. And I thought, I wonder if they have these bases, these uh, depth bases, and uh, had a look, and lo and behold, they do, they have one. And the one they have is a copy of uh, a design that Starrett use and eye gazing use. Um, this is the Mitsu Toyo one where it pulls down from the front, but on the other one, the Starrett and the uh, the eye gauging and a few other brands, this is extended up 
and a little locking screw comes in from the side so you don't uh, push down from the front you push in from the side which means theoretically they can fit uh, well quite a range of of sizes if you had that situation but in actual fact you'll find they're all pretty similar okay so what's it look like well it looks like this So let's have a look at it and, and the flesh and see what they sent me. And as you can see, it is pretty cheap. So here it is. It comes in a nice little pouch. It's vinyl, I think. Yeah, it looks like vinyl. And I suppose they've got to dress up a bit. And here's the gadget. I haven't actually taken it out and had a close look at it. Comes in a bag. And yeah. Come out the bag. There we go. So here it is. And you can see how it works in comparison to the one that I made. So width-wise, similar. This is aluminium. This is steel. You can actually print up these in plastic or something similar if you've got a 3D printer, which you know, it's okay if you like plastic, but there's nothing beats good old metal in the workshop, in my opinion. And once again, they've got the, the screw, lock screw, on the same side as on the Mitsu Toyo. And uh, although I have seen it vary, it depends on who makes these. Eye Gaging make one, Starrett make one. There are other brands around. Uh, some of them might be a bit more squared off on the base you know this one angles up it's quite nice i think it's a good design and it has a little steel locking grub screw and that just puts pressure against the side of the scale so what's it look like well it looks very well made i thought it would be they're, i mean they're a pretty simple thing an interesting thing is that like this in Mitsu Toyo is 90 to 100 bucks. This in Starrett is about $60. In eye gauging, it's about $30, but you still got to stay, pay postage on that. Banggood is selling this for $11 US, which is about, uh, what's that in Australian? About. Uh, 15, yeah, so it's 15. So 15 is a pretty good price, I think, compared to, you know, what's around. And, uh, yeah, it's a simple thing. So, once again, I'll fit up the, uh, the scale into it and we'll see how, how it goes. Let me drop it in. You have a little bit of clearance and then you just pull up the grab screw. There you go. I mean when you set it, you set it on a flat surface so you get everything even. And basically that's how it works. Pretty simple really. We're coming close on it. So yeah, the fit and finish is really good. It uh, sits on there nicely. The cutout on these, the same as the cutout on this, is for any screw or uh, crossbar. They might have a, a saddle strip there on some of them. So that's an, to give you clearance and allow for, for anything that might be on the back to line up your, um, your depth probe. What's this one like? Well, this one's got on the front, but some of them have it on the back. So, uh, once again, you can, you can put it on that way if you want it. Oh, this one has got a saddle on the back. Look, there you go there. So that's what that cutout's for. It's got both sides, in fact. But, uh, yeah, some do, some don't. So 
once again, how you use this, you could use it the other way around if you wanted to, and it would still work just as well, in which case you use it that way. You know, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, that's how you that's how you do your measurement. You've got that ability to uh, once you reference it properly, you've got the ability to come in on the edge of things, pulleys and things like that and and, and get a get a correct measurement. Pretty good. Pretty good. They all have a steel screw. I haven't seen any with a brass screw, so and it doesn't. I mean, you're going over stainless steel with these, so I don't think it's going to mark it. So really, it's a choice of whether you want this style or you want this style. You know, they're both good. You know, um, these you can drop the you can drop the scale in them easier because it just drops in from the front. Whereas with this style, you have to sort of get in un under the washer, but it's still not too bad. So, you know, you can see how it goes. And uh, that's how that one works in comparison. Well, there you have it. Nicely made little gadget, little accessory for your uh, calipers. And it's something that you will want to use at some stage, I think. And it just makes it a lot easier to do depth measurements. Now, to get this off the Banggood site, to find the Banggood uh, page for this, the best bet is to go through the, the link in the video description because when I try to navigate through the tool section in their um, you know, navigation bar, I couldn't find it that way at all. So I don't know, it was hiding somewhere. And how I actually found out they had this was I deliberately searched for um, a caliper depth base um, stop and it came up then when I searched on it. So if you don't want to do that, the easiest way is just, yeah, just click on the link in the video, video description and it will take you straight there. There you have it, guys. Yeah, I think it's one of the better things I've uh, seen off of Banggood lately and it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Okay, that's it from me. Hang in there. See you next time. Cheers.